So did you know that one out of 12 men are colorblind and that one out of every 200 women have some form of color deficiency? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be going over how color vision works, specifically how it's passed down genetically, as well as some eye diseases that can result in color blindness. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes and vision. And if you're new here to the channel and you like taking care of your eyes and seeing your best, then make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And this video is being part of color vision and going over color blindness. I do have a whole video series about different types of color vision, uh, color vision glasses, color vision testing, all that sort of stuff. And I'll include that in a link in the description below if you want to check out the full series. Now, most people who are colorblind don't even realize that they have some form of color deficiency. And that's because they can still see colors. No, people with colorblindness do not see the world in perfectly black and white. Instead, they see things more kind of a yellow or brown hue. And part of that is because there are many different types of color blindness. Most of the time, color blindness is inherited genetically. However, there are some toxicities as well as eye diseases that can cause color vision deficiency as well. The genetics for color blindness is carried on the X chromosome. So if somebody's father isn't color blind, but their mother is a carrier for the gene, then there is a 50% chance that her son would be color blind. And then there's a 50% chance that her daughter would become a carrier as well. But because it is a recessive gene, the daughter will only be a carrier and won't necessarily be colorblind. If a woman who is, is a carrier has a child with a man who is colorblind, there's again a 50% chance that their sons could become colorblind, but a 100% chance that their daughter will at least be a carrier of the gene, and a 50% chance that their daughter could be colorblind as well. If a woman is colorblind and she has a family with a man who is not colorblind, all her sons would be colorblind, and that's because she's only passing on colorblind X chromosomes. And then her daughter would be guaranteed to be at least a carrier. But if a colorblind woman has children with a colorblind man, then all of their children would be colorblind. Does colorblindness run in your family? Is it carried by your mom, your dad, or both? Let me know in the comments. Now, most of the time when colorblindness is passed down through genetics, these individuals will have some form of a red-green color deficiency. However, they usually still can see red and green. They just see things as different hues of red and greens compared to somebody who doesn't have colorblindness. Now, color vision works within the eye because your retina has different cones that perceive the different wavelengths of light. There are S cones, which stand for short wavelength cones, and that pertains to different short wavelengths of light, such as blue light behind me. Then there's M cones for medium range of wavelength of cones. These are usually in the green color ranges. And then there's L cones for long wavelengths of light, which are more of the red colors of the light spectrum. A person who has all three of these cones functioning within the retina is known to have trichomacy, or what is called trichomatic vision. By far the most common type of color blindness is called anomalous trichomacy. And that's where one of these cones in the retina is not functioning as well as the rest of the two cones. You see, when the L cone is impaired and not functioning properly, such as in protonomaly, the sensitivity line shifts toward the M cone, leaving the difference between the two cones to be very small and hard to tell the difference between the two colors meaning this person has trouble seeing red and sees things more as green, yellow, and browns. A person with the M cone shifting toward the L cones, the longer red wavelengths, have deuteranomaly and will see more red normally and have difficulty seeing the green colors, again, because the M cone uh, pertaining toward green colors is not working properly and is instead shifted closer to the red. It is possible to have tritonomaly, where the S cone is shifted toward the green and red. These people have trouble with blue and yellow colors, but it is rare and almost always acquired in some type of eye disease. There are some people who have more extreme forms of color blindness, and those individuals often only have two functioning cones in the back of the eye. We call that dichromacy or dichromatic vision. And these individuals are said to have protonopia, deuteranopia, or tritonopia. And I memorized that while I was in school because it says nopia in the back. And do they see the color? Nope. 
Now, if you're not sure if you have some form of color vision deficiency, I recently posted a video about color vision testing. If you want to check that out, I'll hook that up here in the YouTube card above, as well as in the description below, again, if you want to check that out. Now, if color blindness is inherited through somebody's parents, it's often very clear cut and easy answers in color vision testing. And it's usually equal between the right and the left eye. However, if somebody develops color blindness through an eye disease, for example, then oftentimes the results are not very clear cut. It's a little, has a little bit more variable variables in it, and it often shows a difference between the right and the left eye during testing. People can often have difficulties identifying colors blue and yellow if they are developing a couple of different eye diseases, such as cataracts, which act like a film inside the eye that block out some of these colors, including other diseases, particularly in the retina, such as age-related macular degeneration, as well as certain retinal issues caused from diabetic retinopathy. And I do have other videos covering these different eye diseases, so if you want to learn more about those, again, I'll hook a link up in the description below so you can find those easily. Now, most of the time, people develop red-green color vision issues because it's inherited genetically. However, you can still develop red-green color blindness due to other eye diseases, mainly issues with the optic nerve, such as in cases of Labor's optic neuropathy or from some sort of poisoning, toxic event, or nutritional problems. Very rarely, there are people who only have one cone in the back of the eye, or nearly one, and we call that having monochromacy. This is usually due to an inherited retinal disease called autosomal recessive achromatopsia, or it could develop from a lesion in the extra striate cortex in their brain. And these individuals will normally go from having normal color vision going straight to having black and white vision, and that can be pretty freaky. So if you feel your color vision is changing, make sure to call your eye doctor right away. Another interesting form of color vision change could be that you see the saturation coming out of one eye to be very different versus the other normal eye. And oftentimes when someone presents with this, I'm honestly very suspicious of them developing some form of optic neuritis or swelling of their optic nerve due to multiple sclerosis. I never mean to talk about these eye diseases to scare people. However, if you are having color vision changes, please stop this video, call your eye doctor, and schedule an exam to be seen. You only have two eyes, so please take care of them. Hey, thanks for watching. If you learned something new today, smash that like button for me. Otherwise, if you want to learn more about color blindness, you can check out my full series by clicking or tapping the screen over here to the side. Or if you'd like to see other cool videos from Dr. Eye Health, go ahead and click or tap the screen down over here. Again, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes and vision. Keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you soon.